Okay. So I guess before I start, uh, yeah. So um, who here uses Gatsby? Uh, yay! Okay, great. So uh, so now I started a Gatsby site uh, and refresh. So so I just cloned this uh, Gats. Is it big enough? Yep. Uh, I just cloned. Uh, just run the Gatsby starter, um, and then this is what I get. So. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, Gatsby is like a static site generator, and a lot of pe cool people are using it for their personal sites as well as like RK is built on Gatsby, uh, Tenabermov, uh, Galway, they have all their blogs uh, created using Gatsby. Okay, um, so today, uh, let I think let me first introduce myself first. Um, again, uh, I'm Li Hao. Um, this is my Twitter handle, and I work at Shopee. So um, yeah, so let's. So what I'm going to talk about today, it's a bit of overview of how Gatsby actually built the site. So we're going through like Gatsby pipeline and some of the configurations, and Gatsby allows it. Like Gatsby is part of like Gemstack where it has the markup part of it where it uses Markdown to write your blog, uh, a Markdown to write your like content. Right, so sometimes you want to have some, um, maybe some Markdown plugin to have your own flavor of Markdown. Uh, I might be able to cover about that uh, if time permits. But mostly I'll be talking more on the Gatsby uh, pipeline. And going through that, we see what we can actually like uh, tap into it and make some customization to it. Okay. So, uh, so as you see just now, when I started my site, you see like all these things is going on like uh, uh, step by step. So this is like Gatsby trying to build my uh, site. So what are they trying to do? Uh, so basically I break it down to like a few uh, stages. So the main stages, the main stage is the bootstrap stage where it tries to find sources, which means like your site has a lot of uh, different like where does your content come from, right? Uh, so it tries to find all this content, and Gatsby uh, uses uh, GraphQL. So, uh, like you have you you have this uh, graphical to tell you like what kind of things that you can query from the GraphQL. Um, uh, sorry, I, I can't cover too much on that. But then this is where it tries to start to create schema based on what you get from the uh, content. So the first uh, schema of GraphQL is built here, and then the next stage will be this and all this content. Try to start creating pages from it, right? So your content could be like uh, markdown, uh, markdown files that you write or things like that. And then based on the them, uh, basically uh, Gatsby will try to query f uh, from the GraphQL and then try to create pages from it. Okay. So when creating pages, they are actually creating more Markdown uh, nodes. As you can see here, uh, like Markdown remark is like a source, like Markdown files, and then they create like site page, which is pages. Okay, so it's just creating more and more uh, content in the GraphQL. And then lastly, you try to uh, the next step will be actually generating them, which is to run through the queries, like query all the pages, and then write the pages down into your file system and things like that. And then uh, the last, uh, this is like the bootstrap part of it. And then the next step will be actually building uh, JavaScript to it. So if you don't know, like uh, Gatsby is static site generator. It's generating a static site. But then uh, there's some interaction that you can do with your website. And those uh, things that you can write in JavaScript, uh, they, are built, they are being built in this phase. And once you finish the bundle, then you start a server. Okay, so this in local host, you will start a server, which is to serve your pages and hot reloads when it changes. Okay, uh, so first thing, uh, the first file that you will see or you will touch the most of the time is the Gatsby config, which is a, a file that you can configure all the plugins. So we, uh, will be here. So uh, if you, so I just cloned this, I just started with the starter, uh, and then you will see like 
Gatsby dash something. So the first file is Gatsby config. We actually install the config uh, plugins in it. Uh, so there's more things that you can do, uh, which you can always refer to the reference, which I'm not covered here. Uh, the next uh, file is the Gatsby dash node over here. Okay, so this file uh, is actually a place where you can start to tap into all the different phases of Gatsby. Uh, so, so I have the same pipeline over here, but then uh, in each phase, you can uh, over like the one that I uh, put the link over is a function where you can actually tap into uh, the Gatsby pipeline, right? So during Bootstrap, it has a pre-Bootstrap and then they call source nodes where actually all the different plugins try to create nodes so inside it calls the create nodes okay uh, so for one uh, so as, as I explained just now uh, this is where like the Gatsby starts to go through your file system file the, all the content you write, you've written right so it's actually being done by a plugin called Gatsby source file system right uh, so it does use like this so, so this is like where it's actually, it does, uh, it, it, it's where it starts to call the source nodes and then get all this content from. Uh, so, um, and then when, when you, so when you create nodes, you will get a callback called an onCreate node and then that's where you can do some transformation to it. Okay, uh, things like, uh, because you create a markdown file and then you try to transform it to maybe like HTML and things like that. Right, this is also where you can and when it starts to create GraphQL schema, this is where you can do customization as well. You can create more nodes or more types uh, in the GraphQL uh, server. Um, so this is what Remarks do as well. So basically, if you look over here, uh, like this all Markdown Remark is a new type of node that uh, the Remark plugin creates. Um, so and then you start to create pages. So there's like hooks that you can call like create pages and create pages statefully. Uh, and this is like one of the like page creator plugin users. So basically uh, you can see like Gatsby itself is being built with a lot of different kind of plugins uh, in the Gatsby repository. And basically each plugins are just implementing all these different hooks and all these piece up together to get your basic Gatsby sites, right? So, um, so basic, yeah. And if you click into one of, oh, sorry, I clicked to the wrong one. Like if you click into one of the uh, plugins, right, you will see like the Gatsby files that you have in your project. And basically, um, they are actually the, uh, that's how, yeah, so, so you have these files over there and they, they basically implement uh, all these different hooks and all these pieces together to become a Gatsby sites, right? There's more uh, different kind of hooks that you can do over here. Uh, like during build, you can customize the Babel plugin or the Webpack plugin and you can do something after you build. Uh, you can create, like when there's, when you create dev server, you can access to the express local express server. You can add things like ad adding proxy and stuff like that, right? So um, I guess um, it's getting a bit lengthy over here. <laughs> uh, but basically, some some uh, a summary of all this is that all the different stages has that has a function to where you can hook into and do things with it. And this is not as just an exhaustive list. Uh, if you go into the docs, they have a more com complete list of all the things, all the different stages they have. Okay, and actions would be things that you can do during those phases, right? Okay, so, so, um, so right now I'm trying to do a simple demo on what you can do with a, uh, 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 simple demo. Um, okay, so over here I have installed my plugin. Okay, uh, so one is the live uncomment. Okay, so 
I'm going to head over to my plugin folder. Sorry. So basically, it has has been node in it. Uh, yeah. So basically, I'm just gonna implement like things like uh, like during source nodes, you can create more uh, types in GraphQL, and then you can uh, create node over here, and then you can during create pages. Uh, stage you can call like create page and then create page yeah so 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 basically you you just implement all these different functions that you want and then uh, b because this is during the building phase you just name the file as gatsby dash node just like what you will have in your uh, repository but then if you feel like you want to package it up as a plugin you just have the same name uh, that's it uh, there's some yeah so what it does now is that it will, do I have it or is it running? Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, sorry. So, so these are like um, the uh, node phase of building it, right? So the next phase is actually, after you build, you actually load your HTML to the page and then it's uh, actually a React app. And there's a lot of things that you can do with the React app, which like, for example, when you do a hibernation or when you're trying to render, or you can wrap your uh, entire app with some elements, right? Uh, these are the different kind of phases that you can add, and you just add them to a gatsby-browser.js file. And, and uh, yeah. And lastly is the SSR API, where it's similar, where basically this is the phase where it generates the HTML, but how does it generate? It uses uh, SS, uh, React SSR to render the HTML out. So, so this is the phases. There, there's a lot of different APIs over here and uh, things that you can do with it, right? So, uh, let me summarize it. So, Gatsby plugin. Uh, so, you just have a folder with a package JSON, and then um, you just create like Gatsby Node.js or Browser JS or SSR JS. Uh, that will basically that is basically just a how Gatsby plugin is, right? Uh, yeah. So okay. So so let me quickly. Uh, or do I have time for this? One? Okay. So. Uh, I I think it's okay if you, yeah, ten minutes, right? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, sure. So, sorry, sorry. Uh, so, so, uh, Markdown is, uh, you can do some uh, plugins with the Markdown itself. Um, basically, if you use the Markdown pl uh, plugin, this is where you will edit, right? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm not, not gonna delve into much of the details of it, but basically what it does is that you can use the Markdown AST and do some transformation, and then that will, that is basically the gist of a Markdown AST. Right. Uh, if you want to know more about it, you can always uh, talk to me about it. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I guess I waste through everything. Yeah. So thank you, everyone. <laughs>